Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to my tutorials here um, to, or like in this series I'm going to be making a electric locomotive um, I have decided to make a Litra EG with, this, with it which is a uh, Danish or was a Danish train uh, it was used in this big Gosses and is now uh, used by Deutsche Bahn if I'm not mistaken um, so that is what I'm gonna make. I found this picture on like some page. Uh, I'm gonna le leave a link for it down in the description and you can find it yourself there. So, first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in a block. Um, like that, a cube. And I want to find some actual data on this train, how it is, uh, how long it is, how high it is, and stuff like that. So if you go into your browser and search Litra EG, uh, which is the name of the train, we go here. And I'm sorry if this is on Danish, I think there is an English uh, version of it too, but as you can see, its length is 2.1 almost uh, meters, and that is from buffer to buffer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're gonna write that data into our cube here gonna get this out dimensions that must be wrong one this one and always remember that the front here should be in plus and the back should be in minus so we write 2.95 that's how long it is then we scale up our picture so it matches from buffer to buffer like so and now we're basically ready. Now we have to find the um, width is 3 meters and the height is 4.42. So C, 4.42. That is from top to bottom. That means from there to there. As you can see, it almost fits. So this picture is not correct, uh, entirely correct, but we can just fix that. Um, it's just some picture I found on the internet, so it's nothing crazy, uh, crazy, crazy, like so. And three meters, I think it was in width. Yes, that should be it. So now we're actually ready to make our locomotive. So we can scale this to fit the locomotive. So I'm going to start with the front and match it here. You can just follow along if you want to. I'm not going to be saying much. Um, yeah, I could get this so you can see which buttons I'm pre pressing. Uh, there we go. Should be a bit higher up. Maybe, nah, maybe down here. I think that would be great. Uh, I would also actually recommend getting like reference picks uh, to look after. Um, for example, I can show you if you just go in here and go to pictures, then you have all these reference picks uh, that you can use to actually see what the train looks like. So, for example, we can use this right here and see that it has this kind of weird shape on its front. Um, which I'm gonna try to make. Uh, just gonna make the front's actual front first. You can see here where it is, it's right there. Um, we're gonna try to create that. But first, I'm gonna match the body for it. Like, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go into the middle. Um, which is about here, I think. And then I'm gonna put in a mirror modifier, like so. And I'm gonna merge limit a bit higher. There we go. And then you can see it's a bit like round up here, I think. Not entirely sure, but we're just gonna do whatever the. Uh, Blueprint says, um, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna put that up there. I 
think that's like a box for the roof. There we go. Now we actually have the main shape of the train, so we can just shade it smooth and go in and apply the auto smooth. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Uh, maybe we should smooth this out a bit more. Like so. Now that looks awful. I'm just gonna put in right one right here, I think. If it wants to corroborate with it. Like that. And one up there. Like that. Okay. So now we got the main shape of our train. Uh, so now I'm gonna be getting two of these and scaling it out here as you can see I'm gonna try to make that front there now mm. it's a bit like actually maybe I can't do that before hmm. I'm gonna try see if I can do it not entirely sure but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot see actually we don't need that we can just pick up the top what I normally also do is I normally I just mirror these two but I don't think that will be necessary right now um, I should probably have done it to match the correct so it's the same on both sides but we can live with it so I'm gonna pick these uh, possibly just the top first actually Uh, and yes, those two, and then pick the same over here, like so. And we're gonna move it down to match this right here, and we can perfect it afterwards. But we're just gonna move it down here. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take these two and those, just this entire section here, uh, and match it as well, like that, and we're gonna have to put these a bit more down, so they don't interfere with each other. As you can see, that is no problem at all. Just gonna pick these and match it with its friend here. I guess you could call it that. Like so. And we're gonna do that with these as well, just for it to be a bit like easier for ourselves. There we go. Just keep in mind that it's gonna be an easy, or like not not a completely uh, crazy, crazy much train uh, that's gonna be able to do so much. It's just gonna be there so we can actually like can learn you guys how to create a train on an electric train. Uh, to fix that, I'm just gonna put a bit down probably have done it with both. Pick that, pick that, and then go down. There we go. Now we actually have that. Um, yeah, that's sick. So, now I'm going to be able to create some more stuff on the train. I'm going to start with the windows, I think. So, we're going to get a cube right here. And we are going to match it with the window right there. And also not remember to make like so it doesn't hit this box up here. So we can actually do that without taking that one, of course. But like do that and pick that down. I don't know if it does that weird thing. It does. Okay. So we cannot. That's fine. Okay. We're just going to try to do it. Yeah, it's fine. We can we can do it without that one. I'm 
gonna pick this, this, oh, we're gonna, if that wants to go, there we go, we're gonna pick these corners around here, of course I only have to pick that one, the corners in this, and we're gonna control, press control B and scale it up a bit, but I think that three is enough, like so. And we can scale it so it goes up both sides. And also remember to smoothen it out. And we can get a modifier, boolean modifier, and add it, apply, and we can get this away. And then we can delete these, the inner part here, um, like so. And now we have our first wind. What? Just to undo that, and then we have our first windows actually. Um, that is our first windows for our locomotive, so that's nice. Uh, now we can do the front windows. They're gonna be a bit harder because I don't have anything to look at from this side. But we're gonna try. It's just a simple shape, it seems like. Yeah. It's a bit, I think it's a bit round. Yeah. If I can find like another picture. Uh, actually, now that I look at it, it's not round, it's just. It's basically just a two uh, rectangles ish. So you're gonna see here how high is it. It's gonna match the. It's gonna be a bit higher than this right here, so where did I put it? Right there. Okay, I would suppose it's around there, um, and then it mats, matches this right there. Yeah, I would suppose that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 good enough. So we're just gonna make it a bit uh, shorter. Is it? I think it's more inwards actually. <laughs> it's always good to make, uh, like, see what you've done wrong or like, uh, make it better. You can always always make your models better. So that's what I'm currently doing, and that's what I will doing. M I'll be doing most of the time. But that's also always something that you can change later on, if you want to, of course. Um, uh, yeah, that looks good enough, I think. And then we're gonna copy this and paste it over here. And remember to have it like the same distance ish. So the origins should be zero, like that. Now they should be at uh, the same position. So now we can just uh, scale them so they fit like that. I don't know, but I just have a weird feeling that they're too rectangular. Yeah, they possibly are. I also remember that it's not a completely correct diagram blueprint whatever you want to call it so that is possibly why we could make it a bit higher here and make it a bit yeah I think that's when I yeah that looks better so now we're just gonna get another boolean white fire go off thank you uh, and apply it that way. I almost applied the mirror modifier and then we can hide it so now we have our windows as well uh, what are you doing don't do that please also remember to remove these if you are if you get them we want to have it like empty inside you can also remove this back plating right here for the mirror modifier just remove that then it's straight in there 
now we actually have the main shape of our uh, train. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna triangulate those faces so it's look uh, actually that looks. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it that right now. So what we can do now is we can create more, even more details. Uh, the door, I think I'm just gonna make that a. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, possibly a texture or something. I'm not gonna be making the door itself. What I could do is I could add like a little outline for the door that pops out a bit. Yeah, I, th that's, I think I'm gonna do that. So, yeah. And then we're gonna... I totally forgot how you work in Blender now, wow. Nah, I'm joking, I always know how to do it. Like that. And we just... Make it go ahead. Oops, there we go. And then we can always fix it later on, such as this, and where it's placed at, and other stuff like such. So I'm gonna do this and rotate it 9 degrees, or 90 degrees, and do that, and then we can just do that. And like create faces there. And we just place it on the outer door. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay. Phew. You just sneezed. Uh, just so it sticks out a bit. It just doesn't have to be like that much out. Just a bit. Like such. We're gonna texture it like some color so it's easier to see. Uh, so I'm gonna pick it again. If I can, there you go, and I'm gonna match these two points. So we're gonna press S and then X and then zero, S and then Y. So the screen pops up and then zero, and then they're ma have they're like on the same axis, not like same, uh, same number on place on the axis Y. And we're gonna do this with the same S C for the height. And now they should be the same place ish, but that should be good enough. So we can create this ladder piece right here, as you can see. Um, I think I'm just gonna create a cube. Wait, is it roundy? Is yeah, it's roundy. I'm gonna create a cube and make it fit. Such. Pick the corners out here. Actually, I think it would be easier if I just do that and put this inwards. Should have taken both. Always remember to take both if you don't use mirror modifier. And then Control B. And then we can just pick these and. Let me see. There you go. And that is that done. So we're just gonna pop it out. Make sure it fits. And it sticks out both ends. And we're also gonna shade smooth it or smooth shade it. We're gonna add another boolean modifiers. <laughs> I guess you've already noticed that we love the boolean modifiers here. So we're gonna put two of these where the because I didn't uh, join them together. So that's just what we're gonna do, and we're gonna apply it with like right now. Uh, oops, wrong one. We're just gonna hide it now, and then we can always remember to delete these inner parts. Uh, I think we're gonna make a interior for this and actually make controls for it as well. Um, I'm gonna be showing you a complete how to do it. Just a simple train. Uh, yep. And we could also actually delete this bottom part. There. 
and we basically have the basic shape of our train. Um, so what you want to do is you basically just want to put in the details of the train. Um, I'm not going to show you that, you can find it yourself and do it yourself. Uh, it's pretty damn easy. Well, I think it's easy, probably not for you, but you should learn it and try and play around and blender and learn it. So I'm going to fast forward he here till I've created some more details. Or I'm going to come back uh, when I've created some more details. Okay, uh, so welcome back. I have now uh, made a simple um, electric locomotive. Uh, I haven't made the bogies yet, but I made the wheels for it because I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, as I suppose you don't know how to make boogies, but let's go. So um, we want to start by making some uh, animations. Since it's an electric locomotive, we have the pantographs. Um, so we have the pantograph right here. Uh, you want to have the arm that is raising it, the two arms that is raising it. You want to have them as a part for themselves and a, this as a part for itself. And the arm that's holding the um, the pantograph up, uh, the the electrical thing. <laughs> I'm sorry for my loss of words. I don't I don't remember what these are called. But you want to have these. Uh, let me just select them all. You want to have these uh, five things. Is it five? Is it five? Five. You want to have these five things. Uh, selected um, or as a part of itself and um, because that is what we're gonna do uh, use for our animation so if I just put it back so we want to start by having a uh, a parent and that is gonna be these two that is gonna be the parent so we're gonna use this one uh, right now we want this and that together so make sure that you, when you click you start by clicking on this and then is selecting this so this one is marked in yellow which is meaning that when you do it it's going to be the parent then we click control oh let me just do this real quick then you can see what i'm clicking control and p then this menu comes up you want to select vertex uh, then whenever you rotate it it stays in the same uh, rotation slash position that it's in it's just going to be simple it's not going to be anything completely wow look at this so um we're gonna see what we can do here uh then you want to have this a parent with this so we select this and click this and then control p vertex then when we do this it should be the same and when we do when we do this wait wow okay we're just gonna yeah, keep ignoring that. But then it's together right here. And uh, we gotta also remember this. So that should be together. And then this one, we're just gonna make an animation for itself. Because if we select this one as this parent for this break right here, it's gonna remove this parent. So we're just gonna use this for now. Um, so we wanna say we want it about. I don't know how high it should be, but we, we can test that out. So, uh, we want to go into our layout or animation. You can choose yourself. So, select this one we made as the first parent. Uh, press the start uh, animation to 1, and the end should be at 25. Put this out, and start by having your position mark of the animation at 1. Then we want to right click the rotation and right uh, and insert frames. So there's three uh, frames that pop up here, or four, not frames, but like it just shows that this has an animation now. Um, then we want to go to 25 and we want to have it, I would suppose, around there. And then we right click and select insert frames. Now, what we want to do is we want this to... You also want to make sure that the... Um, origin of it is down here so it rotates on that angle. You can do that by going up here, uh, selecting this. 
a magnet tool and selecting, selecting vertex or edge, whatever you want. Uh, then you select the cursor and hold it in. And then it should somehow, um, it, it's going to magnet itself to the vertexes of this right here that we have selected right now. Then you can right click. Uh, no, you go out of you go out of your uh, edit mode, right click, and then origin to 3D cursor. So that's how you do that. But I've already done it. And you want to do it with the same here. So you want to select this edit mode and select the cursor and place it around here. I just want to quickly move this. Oh, oops, I accidentally deleted it. There you go. So cursor selected there and then right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Then you can see now it rotates at that angle. And then we want to move this down here. Again. And we want it to be in the middle. If we can do that, please. I have messed up now I see uh, we're just gonna fix this uh, real quick we want to make sure that is in the middle okay now I'm completely messing up uh, we're just gonna quickly go back like so before making the animation please or and doing the Parents, please make sure that everything sits correctly. Okay, now I should hopefully uh, sit a bit more correct. Um, we, we hope it is. So we go back to our animation. Uh, wait, actually we have to... I'm just going to get that a bit more in so it's in there. Oops, we got it. Well, let's take off the magnet again. Um, yeah, now it should work. Hopefully, it's just a simple model, nothing too special. So now that we have our first animation right here, as you can see, we want to make this raise as well. So. yeah okay so right click make sure you're at one again insert frames while having this selected and then we go up and we can rotate this so it's like up there or something i don't really remember the height of the uh, power lines but we can we can change that at some point so right click insert frames then we can select this go back to zero all one and then right click insert frames and go up and there you go we want to make sure again it has its point on the oops on the um, inner part here so right click to 3d uh, cursor and now we can rotate it so boom 25 is it 25 down here and boom and insert frames now we have our first animation actually as you can see and it's working all right it's not the best but it's just to show you an example of what what we're gonna do here um, actually we can also just uh, select this and insert keyframes and then go up here and then make it go up there so it should look something like this and you can see on the left side here I don't know if you have this view you can set it up yourself but now we have a first animation uh, we can do the same with this up here let's just make sure we have the parents at the right position that's not where we want it to be. Let's just put it a bit up like so and make sure it's down here in the middle, which I'm, I like it best down there. And then 
the 3D cursor and put it in there. And 3D cursor, and um, let's check this also. Yeah, we want you in there, and then 3D cursor, and we want to check this as well. Just if we have, now we actually don't need this. So, we can start by doing the same here. Uh, selecting this, and then selecting, actually selecting that first, and then this. Control P, vertex. Um, selecting this, and Control P, vertex, and this, Control P, vertex. So now that should work as well as it does, correct. Uh, we wanted to make sure it's the same height, so we're just going to do that. So first of all, insert keyframes, insert keyframes, insert keyframes, and insert keyframes, and insert keyframes when we're at um, one. Goody. Then we want to pick the this one. Want it? We can select this and just copy this. Uh, go in here and put it there. Now it's at the same height. And just insert faces. And we're gonna do this with this as well. Oops, that is not correct. I think it's this one. Maybe I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work like we want it to. Um, what is going on with it? I don't know. Hello? Okay, it apparently doesn't want to work. But we can just do it manually here. Uh, make sure that it sits correctly. It does. Great. Uh, oops, then just picking up a bit and selecting this. And how high is it? 106. And we're going to copy this because it's not correct. It's not entirely correct with its data. So we're just going to copy and paste it, uh, like so. It's because of the place where we put our geometry. Remember that the rotation is where the um, geometry is. So this should be fine. It's at the same height. Now we just need this one. So we're just going to put this up. Like so. And now we have our two animations. Okay, that is going a bit higher up, I see. Oh yeah, we forgot this one. Oh, we forgot to set this one's... Uh... <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bit slow. Uh, we're just going to do that now. 106. And 225. You can do this way easier, I think, uh, but this is just the way I do it. Sometimes I mess up, sometimes I don't. As you can see, now we have our first animation, actually. Um, and it's looking pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I think that is what I'm going to do for um, number one. As, and I expect you have built your own little locomotive, and you just follow along for the animation parts and all the other stuff. Uh, so... This was it for my little tutorial here. Uh, it's going to be a little series again. Um, I will hopefully be able to post the next part within a couple of days, not f like two or three weeks uh, like it was last time. And I'm very sorry for my late upload. Also remember to save it always. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!